He got up it. So now. guys do things. Okay. <laughs> well, from there's that if you can get. Okay, let me get Chris, watch your right foot. Because you're getting close to the tire. Well, if it were to flip, he can jump off. Ju or Michael could jump off. Yeah, that's true.
got up next? Is it Mike or Mike? Mike. <laughs> Mike or Mike? Mike squared. <laughs> We got the mic that will hammer down and not let up. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Talk 
I told you we should have come up that way and everyone else would sit right there in the center of it. We should have come up that way, they said. I got the pickle, yeah, that's what we should have done right there. We went up that way. That way we never say we've done it. Right. Yeah, yeah, and they were just gigantic mud hole, right? Mm -hmm. And so Chris kind of stopped and we talked about it. He said, you want to try to go through it? And I said, I don't know. It looks like a bad mud hole to me, so I'm going to try it. And it was them two, and he had his daughter in the back seat. She's a little old bitty thing, don't weigh 100 pounds. And it was cold that day. 30 degrees. Oh, it was so cold. December. So Chris went in there, and he kind of eased in, he went on out, and he got stuck. And he looked back at me, and he backed up a little bit. He could back up, and then he looked, he stuck his head up and looked back. And I said, come on back, you're good. But what he heard was, floor it, you're good. <laughs> He laid into the gas on that thing, and I swear I couldn't see the buggy. All four tires sent a thing of mud oh, up, and and Angie was just giving it. Her head was just giving it to me, and I said, "Man, help. she is into that." Man, she's like, "Go, Chris, go!" Woo! No, no. Well, that was not no, what she was saying. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. she strung out a street for fanzies. I finally caught the end of it. Son of a bitch! I swear to God, I used to kill you. That mud come up. And he got through the mud come up and went down and every bit of it hit the pastor side. And his daughter, the way the the way the roof was, it hit the roof and poured right down the back of her. You look like you picked her up and dumped her in that mud hole when we got done. And it was see, it taught her a great experience. Stinky, stagnant she is now broken in. Yes. yes. Well, let me tell you what happened. We had to build a fire in the cage to dry puzzle. So, so now we get to hear the true story. Go ahead, Angie. No. <laughs> <laughs> we go into it, and it like noses straight up. And I'm like, Chris, we can't get through this. There's no way back. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. So he starts stomping the gas, and it's just like she said, flying over top of us. Finally, me screaming, stop, you're drowning us, stop, stop. Okay, so we've managed to back it back out. I'm like, okay, we're good. Yeah, let's go. Let's get out. No, that's when Mike gave me the thumbs up and he said, I know I can do it. And I'm screaming, no, we can't. Back in it again. And I'm telling you, we were so, we had, I looked like I had mud. I mean, it wasn't just water, it was mud. All over us, stinky mud. I mean, it was coming over like tidal waves on top of us. And it didn't even get on us. Chris, Chris, we finally got out, Chris was untouched. No, no. We had to strip Keely off. Mike, he just luckily had some kind of t-shirt we could put on her. We had to give her clothes. It was horrible, it was, it was, it was 30 degrees. And I was like, me screaming at him, telling him, no, don't do it. But he kept right on. I was ready to like, I, he almost got rabbit lit. Right? <laughs> 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 oh, hey, did you, did but a week ago, did we not go through it? No, or I and then did. he goes back in it again, me screaming, telling him, Chris, this is the same mud hole. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. I said, yes, it is. Went in it, boom, stuck again. I said, stop. If you put on that gas, I said, I'm killing you right now. Stop. She didn't kill me, but she got stop. out. <laughs> I literally, me and a little girl in the back, which we still forgot her name, we crawled out over top of the buggy and back over the back end of it and got out. It took he, an hour. He got out of it. Yeah, well, it took him quite a while. By the time the whole, you couldn't even, see, you couldn't even tell what color oh, yeah, it was. it was bad. Mud. I went through it, though. I can say I went through it. But he wanted to argue me that that <laughs> Well, it wasn't the hole. We was at it in a different direction. It wasn't the same hole. Well, Dana had confidence in you down there. At the bottom of the hill, this was a conversation at the bottom of the hill. She was like, Dustin, they're having problems up there. They're having problems. They do this a lot. So, how are you, you going to do? I said, I think mean, we're going to be all right. But she said, well, said they're going to get us up there regardless. I said, they're a lot bigger. I said, yeah, that's right. Well, they got big tars. Yeah. I think we need to get something that's got a less shot and we're close to the ground, she said, you know. Upper higher, and I thought like, we're gonna get up through there, honey. But she's told us all the way up through here to go right or go well. So we come up through there when I start to gun us, you know. Oh, I've got a warning, man. She said, I said, Do I go right or left? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> up. Locked up on me. You're on your own. <laughs> That's awesome. What is it? You're scaring me. Is it cancer? It's cancer. <laughs> Oh god! That, that, yellow, that yellow jacket, you have almost touched. You've all just easy. What we gonna? Is it making you, you you put your hand on your hat. I mean that thing's fixing to sing the shit out of you. Oh, Arab <laughs> back. Arab back. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. If you look around here, now look look how these ledges come around oh, through here. See, we're on the top oh, of the highest point of Packett Town. Now 
A lot of people don't know this. Tacket is an old Cherokee word, you see. <laughs> uh, back before, it was about uh, 1716, I think, when uh, the, the folks that come over on the Mayflower and stuff, they first made contact with the Cherokees that lived here. Now, if we were to walk down here, there's a lot of Indian carvings and stuff in there, and they have wrote Tacket in there, T-A-C-K-E-T-T, -T -T, right? So we didn't know that they had a language before that in letters and stuff, but the Cherokees are the one actually named this packet. It was only after the Spaniards got here that uh, they developed it. Now, right up here, they had an entire settlement on this flat part, but obviously the Cherokees didn't, uh, they didn't like that, 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 that they'd come in and was settling their land. So actually there was a giant massacre here, here at Tackett Town, it's called the Tackett Creek Massacre, you see. And the Cherokee Indians burnt down everything that was here. These trees, these are old growth trees, but they've only been here since about, about 18, about 1800 is when these trees started to grow in this area because this whole flat right here, there's actually some artifacts, if you can look around and find them, of, of the remnants of the old city. And so that's why this is called Tackett Town. That's right, yeah. Thank you for that history lesson. I never knew that. A lot of people don't know that. No.
in the booth.
Yes, I got zipper. Let me get them. Get you damn more. Yeah, yeah, yours is. That's what says yours is bigger. I think. Yeah. <laughs> There's your pack of lead bench. Yeah, she's a little, little bit. We can just put a winch to it and straighten it back out, can't we? Sure. That's what we did to my radius rod. Right? Uh, yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Wire, wire cutters. Got hung in them. Wire cutters. I probably got pole? some. One of those two ends. <laughs> Josh, you want to get Wire cutters. Yeah, get that boot in there. Double. <laughs> zip tie on no wire cutters. Yeah. Nope. One of the hands. Got you. Little guys? Yeah. <laughs> Michael Kane can fix him. I can think of no better way to spend a Saturday than working on side by side the mountains. <laughs> not in yours. It's, 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 it's not mine. I love working on somebody else's side by side in the mountains. <laughs> now we need. Like watching well, somebody else work on somebody else's side by side. Somebody, got somebody else, else right work on somebody else's side by side. Put, you know, put your vest yeah. on that tree so he don't this hit it on the way down. <laughs> so, when mine broke, we just need to loosen this and the whole thing will slide out. Well, unbolt. This is right here, though. I'd just drive it out. I would do. Is it right there? Yeah, that's where the couple of hands on this one. We just need we made it to the top. That's where we were working on Chris's buggy. We have started back down. We're going to make our way back to the trucks. Um, it's been a great day. Great day. Great day. We have caught up with some people coming off of the top here. Um, the temperature has been wonderful. Fun ride. 68 degrees. Yeah, 68. 
Saturday fun day. Um, not much carnage. We did have a roll or a, um, I wouldn't consider it a rollover. I guess he rolled it over on his side. That was Mike Stevens. And then Chris, when they got to the top, hit a tree. And what did it do to his? Benny's. Benny's tie rod real bad. Yeah. So we had to change it out. Yeah. But there was a nice fella, Cody Johnson, that just gave Chris what he needed to fix it. So we were able to fix his uh, machine back and we started back down the mountain, getting back home. It's a little before five. Great day.